now. Hello and welcome to the first installment of Math Wednesday? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why didn't you do Math Monday and take advantage of the alliteration? I didn't think that far ahead. Of course, the other thing you're thinking is, Pat, you don't know shit about math. You really think you're going to do a math installment every single Wednesday? Which should be Monday. Hey, you know, there's a girl out there getting paid to teach us math, and she never posts anything, so I guess it's up to me. Sing by heart. It is true I don't know shit about math, and I did not have time to go over to Numberphile and steal some of their good ideas, so on this first installment, we are going to review Roman numerals. Personally, I'd like to know how one of the largest and most powerful empires in human history managed to have one of the shittiest number systems ever devised. How did they make it? It had to be the Greeks doing all the heavy lifting with the math in that empire. It's probably why they took over Greece, because they're like, Oh man, our number system sucks so bad, we're never going to become an empire this way. Hey look, there's some guys over there fucking with circles! Alright, Brainiac, come on, you're coming with us. But even the Greeks, as smart as they were, could not figure out zero. Nobody can figure out zero. So what do I write down if there's one guy? Well, you just, you just make a stick. What if there's two guys? Well, uh, you just make two sticks. What do I write down if there's no guys? Uh, what? I, I don't, I don't follow. I mean, like, if there's no guys and I wanted to record that, what do I write down? Well, you just leave it blank, idiot. Uh, I'm gonna waste a perfectly good symbol to represent nothing. What's wrong with you? Okay, so if there's five guys, then I make five sticks? Oh no, five is too many sticks. Just make a V. Why should it be a V? Shouldn't it be an F for five? What are you, an idiot? No, this is the Roman Empire. If we're gonna be writing down numbers, they're gonna be pointy, okay? We have pointy spears, pointy swords, and pointy hats, all right? So our numbers are gonna be pointy like that. So that's five. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, Ah, slow down! We didn't even talk about four. Four is like that. Four is like that. It's like one before five. It's one before five. And then six is one after five. One before five, one after five. Don't you think that's gonna be a little confusing for people with dyslexia? I don't know what that is. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's talk about ten. Oh, that's easy. Ten's gonna be two V's, right? It's gonna be a W. No, dumbass, it's gonna be an X. But X isn't pointy. X is scary, okay? We're the Roman Empire. X is scary. And nine's gonna be like this, okay? It's gonna be like one before X, all right? It's just like with five, it's gonna be like one before X. That's nine. If you have like, if you have one after X, then that is 11. We're not doing any more than three sticks in a row. No more than three sticks in a row. In fact, we're not doing more than three of anything in a row. Every time you get up to the, where you're about to put the fourth one in a row, then you just get the next letter and then you put it one before, one before. That seems overly complicated. We are the Roman Empire! Then what's the number for 444? C-D-X-L-I-V. Those are six different symbols in a row to represent a value of 444. You know what? Go to hell! I says, Big Ben, this here's a rubber duck, and I'm about to put the hammer down. Cause we are 